Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I am Sunil Mirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as cost sheet. Now, for cost sheet, the first thing that you have to do is keep a format ready. Guys, can you just go through the format? The format is direct material, direct wages, direct expenses. When you add the three, you get prime cost. Add factory overheads, less sale of scrap, add opening stock of finished goods, less closing stock of finished goods will give you work cost. Add office overheads will give you cost of production. Add opening stock of finished goods, less closing stock of finished goods will give you cost of finished goods. Add sales overheads will give you total cost. Add profit will give you sales. Guys, let's go through the format once again because the main thing is the format. Direct material plus direct wages plus direct expenses gives you prime cost. Add factory overheads, less sale of scrap, add opening stock of WIP, that's work in progress, less closing stock of work in progress will give you work cost. Add office overheads will give you cost of production. Add opening stock of finished goods. Less closing stock of finished goods will give you cost of finished goods. Add sales overheads will give you total cost. Add profit will give you sales. Now let's see this guys. We're doing question number 12. This is in the books of Duncan Limited. They are saying that Duncan Limited, now before that you have to write CPU PC units. CPU stands for cost per unit, PC stands for total cost and units, whatever units are produced. Now they are saying that Duncan Limited started a factory in Navi Mumbai on 1st April. The following details are furnished about its activity. Raw material consumed, they give you. Now at the end of the sum, somewhere close to the end of the sum, they have said that units produced is 40,000. Units produced is 40,000. 40,000 units have been produced. Right? Now let's see this. They have given you that uh, raw material consumed is at the rate of 7 per unit. Cost per unit is 7. How do you get total cost? Cost per unit into units will give you total cost. 7 fours are 28 and 4 zero. So 2 lakh 80,000. Next, they have given you direct wages. Let's see the working note for direct wages guys. Direct wages. is further divided into skilled workers and unskilled workers. Right? Skilled workers are 9 rupees per unit and unskilled workers are 6 rupees per unit. The total units are manufacturing is 40,000. Right? 9 fours are 36, that's 3 lakh 60,000. 6 fours are 24, that is 2 lakh 40,000. This gives you 6 lakhs. Right? So my direct wages is going to be 6 lakhs. Right? Once I have direct wages as 6 lakhs, I have TC. I want to get CPU. How do I get CPU? TC divided by number of units will give you CPU. So 6 lakhs divided by 40,000 will give you CPU. Next, work overheads is 8 rupees per machine hour and the machine has worked for oh no, before that they have given you royalty on raw material consumed is 3 rupees per unit royalty is a direct expense 4 threes are 12 and 4 zeros so this is going to be 1 lakh 20 thousand this is going to be 25 25 fours are 100 and 4 zeros right now Let's see working out to work overheads is 8 rupees per machine hour and the machine has worked for 25,000 hours. So work overheads 
is eight rupees for machine hour, and the machine has worked for twenty five thousand hours. Twenty five eights are two hundred and another three zeros. Right? That means work overheads and factory overheads is the same thing. That means my factory overheads is two lakhs. Once I have PC, I can find out the CPU. To find out CPU, I should divide the TC by number of units. Two lakhs divided by forty thousand is five. There is no sale of scrap WIP or closing stock of WIP given to you. So this will become thirty, and this will become twelve lakhs. Office overheads is one third of work cost. Work cost is thirty. One third of that will be ten. And this is going to be one third of twelve lakhs is going to be four lakhs. So this is going to be forty and sixteen lakhs, right? Now comes the interesting part. They said that units produce forty thousand. Stock of units at the end is four thousand, right? Now stock of units at the end. Whenever there is closing stock. In this particular sum, there is no opening stock. Whenever there is closing stock, first thing that you have to do is bring the CPU of cost of production down as it is. So 40 will come down here as it is. Multiply it by the number of units unsold. 4,000 units are unsold. So multiply it by the number of units unsold. Right. So forty multiplied by four thousand is one lakh sixty thousand. Sixteen lakhs minus one lakh sixty thousand is nothing but fourteen lakh forty thousand. Right? Now forty thousand units were produced, out of which four thousand units are unsold. That means I must have sold thirty-six thousand units. Out of forty thousand, if four thousand units are unsold, that means thirty-six thousand units were sold. Divide this by thirty-six thousand, you will get forty. So your cost of finished goods is going to be forty into forty uh, and forty by forty thousand. Selling overheads is in the form of sales commission, which is four rupees per unit. Multiply four with the number of units sold. We have sold thirty-six thousand units. Four into thirty-six thousand is one lakh forty-four thousand. Hence, my total cost is going to be forty-four, and this is going to be fifteen lakh eighty-four thousand. They have said that selling price per unit is fifty. If selling price per unit is fifty and cost price is forty-four, that means profit is going to be six. Multiply the profit by the number of units sold. Right? Multiply the profit by the number of units sold. That is, multiply five by thirty-six thousand. That will give you two lakh sixteen thousand fifteen sixteen eighteen lakhs. So your total cost is going to be eighteen lakhs. Right? Do we get this thing clear? This is understood by us. So that finishes my entire sum. Simple, straightforward sum. Right? Do we get this thing clear? Let's do another sum, guys. Your format still remains the same. First thing that you have to do is get the format ready. Right? Let's see one more sum. This is we are going to do sum number thirteen. We are doing question thirteen in the books of Times Paper Mill. Right. First, you get your format ready. Once your format is ready, let's start. We are saying that prepare a cost sheet showing the total cost and the per ton cost of paper manufactured by Times Paper Mill Limited in the month of March. In the month of March two thousand four. There are twenty-six working days in the month of March. Also, find the profit earned. The details are as follows. Now, they are saying that direct material is six thousand tons. CPU, PC, units. Units is 
6000 tons okay now direct material is given to you as 9000 rupees sorry 900 rupees per ton CPU multiplied by units will give you TC. Six nines are 54, three zeros from here and two zeros from here. So that's 54 lakhs. Next, direct wages. Let's see the working note, guys. Working note one for direct wages. They are saying that direct wages are further classified into skilled workmen, semi skilled workmen, and unskilled workmen. Right. Let's see this. They are saying that there are 280 skilled workmen, 300 semi-skilled workmen, and 470 skilled workmen. Right? Who are who charge you 250 rupees per day, 150 rupees per day, and 100 rupees per day? And they have said that there are 26 working days in a month. We are making for one month. So there are 26 working days in a month, right? So in that case, this is going to be 280 into 250 into 26. That will come to 1 lakh. No, that will come to 18 lakhs, 20,000. Fine, do we get this thing here? Next, semi-skilled is going to be 300 into 150 into 26 which will come to 11,70,000 and unskilled is 470 into 100 into 26 which comes to 12,22,000 right when you add all these three this will come to 42,12,000 so your direct wages is going to be 42 lakhs 12,000 42 lakhs 12,000 divided by the number of units you are producing 6,000 tons so your direct wages is going to be 702 rupees 42 lakh 12,000 divided by 6,000 is going to give you 702 direct expenses let's see working note 2 wise direct expenses they are saying direct expenses in the is in the form of special equipment. Special equipment, 12,000 rupees per day and you are working for 26 days. And special dies, sorry, special dies is 250 rupees per ton and you are manufacturing 6,000 tons. Right? So these are the uh, uh, direct expenses given to you. So 12,000 into 26 is going to give you 3 lakh 12,000. Similarly, 250 into 6,000 is going to give you 15 lakhs. So this is going to be 18 lakh 12,000. So your direct expenses are going to be 18 lakh 12,000. Fine, do we get this thing clear? <coughs> Divided by the number of units produced, 6,000 units are produced. So direct expenses are going to be 250 rupees per unit. How did I do that, people? 18 lakh 12,000 divided by 6,000, right? Now let's find out the prime cost, guys. To find the prime cost, you have to add the three. If you add the three, you will get the total as 900 plus 702. Plus 250 900 plus 702 plus 250 that gives you 1852 is that 250 15 lakhs and 3 lakh 12,000 that's 18 lakh 12,000 divided by 6000 gives you not 250 it gives you 302 right plus 702 plus 900 comes to 1904 so your prime cost is going to be 1904 
and when you add this, this is going to be 1 crore 14 lakh 24,000. Right? Next, they have given you that work overheads, working out 3. Guys, let's see, working out 3 work overheads is further classified into fixed and variable. Now, they are giving you that variable overheads is 50% of direct, direct wages. Direct wages per unit was 702. 50% of that is going to be 351. Multiplied by 6000 tons that are produced. That will give you 21,6000. Fixed overheads is given to you as 2,70,000 So your total work overheads are going to be 23,76,000 Factory overheads and work overheads is the same thing So 23,76,000 So uh, 23,76,000 divided by 6,000 Works out to 396 Right? Now they have, that's it. Now, there's no sale of scrap, there's no opening stock of WIP or closing stock of WIP. So, add this. When you add this, this will come to 2300. And you, when you add the TC, it comes to 1 crore 38 lakhs. Right? Office overheads, they have given you is 12% of work cost. So, 2300 into 12% will give you 276 multiplied by the number of units produced that's 6000 units which will give you 16 lakhs 56,000 when you add this this is going to be 2576 plus This is going to be 1 crore 54 lakhs 56,000. Right? Now, they've given you that opening stock of paper is 500 tons at the rate of 2,501.6 rupees per ton. Okay? So, this is 2,501.6 rupees per ton and you have only 500 tons so what you have to do guys is multiply this by the opening stock that's 500 tons when you multiply this this will give you 12,50,800 right now for closing stock I had explained to you guys how to do it in the previous sum also first thing that you have to do is whatever is the CPU of cost of production you have to bring it down as it is that means this 256 2576 not 256 2576 will come down as it is multiply that by the number of units unsold 300 units are unsold so multiply 2576 by the number of units unsold 300 units are unsold that will give you 7,72,800 7 right now add 50, 1 crore 54 lakhs 56,000 plus 12 lakh 50,800 minus 7,72,800 will give you 1 crore 93 lakhs no 1 crore 59 lakhs 34,000 1 crore 59 lakhs 34,000 right now you started with 6,000 tons you had 6,000 tons of raw material opening stock is 500 tons so 6,000 plus 500 gives you 6,500 tons your closing stock was 300 tons so 6500 divided minus 300 will give you 6200 tons. That means 
you have sold 6200 tons of paper so divide this by 6200 that will give you 2570 guys how did I do this this is total cost divided by 6200 how did I get 6200 opening stock 6000 tons plus, plus sorry opening stock 500 tons plus production 6000 tons minus closing stock 300 tons gives you 6200 tons selling overheads is given to you as 80 rupees per ton multiplied by the number of tons sold so 80 rupees and you are selling 6200 tons 80 multiplied by 6200 will give you 496000 That will give you a total cost of 2650. Right? Add the thing. That is add 1 crore 59 lakh 34,000 plus 4 lakh 96,000. When you add this, this will give you 1 crore 64 lakh 30,000. 1 crore 64 lakh 30,000. Right? Now, they have given you that selling price of paper is 3000 rupees per ton. Cost price is 2650, selling price is 3000. When you subtract the two, you will get profit is 350 rupees per ton. Multiplied by the number of units sold, you have sold 6200 tons, which is 21,70,000. 21,70,000 right when you add this with 1 crore 64,30,000 you will get 1 crore 86 lakhs right this finishes this sum of times paper money we will stop here for the day thank you very much